This Thanksgiving, there will probably be lots of food scraps around your kitchen as you and your family peel potatoes and carrots and onions to make a big meal. You could throw them out, or you could compost them and turn them into nutritious soil. At the Brooklyn Botanic Garden, tiny bacteria, bugs, and mushrooms are eating all the rotting things in this compost bin. Anything that's left over from the kitchen, so you can see we've got some rotting peppers in here. Um, we've got, let's see what else, we've got uh, yeah. um, corn husk. To make good compost, you need lots of different stuff to go in with your food scraps. Dead leaves put carbon back in the soil. Grass clippings add nitrogen. Turning the pile adds oxygen, which helps to break everything down. In the end, this pile will turn into soil. This is added into the soil, um, and it adds um, a lot of crucial things. Um, for plants to be able to grow, it adds nutrients, it adds the biology that the soil needs to, for the plants to grow healthy, um, it creates structure, which is really important in the city because we're always walking on the soil, and so the soil gets really, really compacted and it's hard for plants to grow. The folks at the garden use compost to feed all their plants. People who live in small apartments think they don't have enough room to compost, but many cities now have composting programs to help. All week, you save your food scraps in the freezer. At the end of the week, you take it to a composting center, like this one, at a local farmer's market. And the rest is up to nature.